All right, so this is a uh, a video of my leaf. I've had a couple people ask me some questions about it, and I figured I would just do a little quick video. Um, getting ready to take a trip uh, to my local Walgreens to pick up some things, so uh, figured I'd just take a take a little trip with it. Let you guys see how it drives, see how quiet it is. Um, let's go around the outside here so you can get a good look at it. It's a really good looking car, actually. Um, I don't like the blue color uh, that was, I think, the first first years they came out with. Um, they advertised it with a blue color and uh, was not a fan of the blue color at all. Um, so when I went to look to uh, to get one, it either had to be blue or uh, red or black, and uh, ended up going with a black one, which uh, is definitely a little bit harder to keep clean, but it's worth it, I think. Um, my brother-in-law is a professional tenor, uh, did an awesome job on the tent job. Um, on the vehicle which actually helps out a lot um, make sure I'm not covering up the microphone here uh, which the tent job actually helps out a lot because um, obviously when you're running the climate controls on the vehicle you're using battery as well so uh, although you can turn on your climate controls uh, remotely when it's plugged in um, when you're going down the road, if you turn them on, you're obviously going to lose some some range. Not much, but we will lose. You will lose some range. So the tent job is actually uh, a, 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 a actually a useful addition. So, uh, but anyway, I'll uh, jump in the car here, and uh, we'll start it up and take a trip down the road. All right. So I think you can I think you can see there. Um, it is a keyless uh, start, just as long as you got the fob in you know, on your person. Um, you can just get in it and push the, uh, the start button. Gives you a nice little tune. Starting up, you can actually change the uh, the startup sound um, in these settings if you so desire. Um, right now it's uh, right now it's ship full charge. Um, we've got 78 miles. If I were to turn off the the climate control, it automatically goes to 80 miles. Um, but it is a little warm, so I'm going to turn on the the AC. And uh, stick in reverse. It has a I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it has a little chime, backup chime. But I'll turn off the, uh, the air so you can kind of hear it, how quiet it is. Extremely quiet, extremely smooth. Um, I've got an eco mode right now, which basically, from what I have been able to tell, the eco mode, which is the button right here, um, really the only thing I, it seems to do is it basically halves the amount of acceleration the accelerator pedal gives. Unless you just absolutely floor it, it'll give full power then, but. Pretty much the other 80% of that range is just half um, compared to what you would normally get with the eco mode off. Which eco mode does help you um, as far as the range goes. Um, so like right, and and the, the range automatically adjusts as you drive it, your driving style. Um, like right now, um, it's already jumped up to 85 miles an hour or 85 mile range just because I'm in eco mode and I've got the air off. If I were to take it off eco mode, and turn on the air, it drops down to 78 mile range. So it automatically adjusts as as you're driving it. But in general, I keep it in eco mode 
keep the air off. Um, you know, I can roll down the windows if I want to let a little air in. Um, but I won't do that now just because the, the video will probably be a little bit louder. But overall, the car handles really, really well. Um, it's very smooth. My wife has a Prius. Um, it, it's, it definitely has a little bit, it has a much more solid feel to it than the Prius. Um, the, the battery packs are lined along the bottom of the vehicle. So it gives it a really low center of gravity. So it, it feels like it's, it's, it's stuck to the road a little bit more. Going into curves and whatnot, um, but just to, to go over some of the features of the uh, the navigation system, it's got an AM, FM, XM radio. Um, you can set up your, your different stations that you like. Uh, CD uh, that tilts open, so you can access the CD player. Uh, an auxiliary, there's an auxiliary port down here. Uh, there's a USB port and also a, uh, a mini stereo DIN. Uh, now I want to show you, this is one of the things that I did not expect with an with a electric vehicle. I'll take off the eco mode so that I'll have full power um, to the vehicle. This is one of the things I did not expect for an electric vehicle. I didn't drive one of these before I bought it. But pickup on this car is actually quite decent. There's nobody coming now, so it'll be pretty much at, at a dead standstill. Um, it's, act, it's actually impressive for an electric vehicle. Fifty miles an hour right now. Sixty. So uh, I think the actual zero to sixty is is probably around the eight minute or eight second uh, time frame. Uh, zero to 30 is extremely quick. Um, it's just because with an electric vehicle, you've got 100% um, torque immediately. Um, that's one of the things that I've, I've, I've really enjoyed about this vehicle. Um, I mean, I've had I've had a, a couple of different vehicles in the past. I've had a, a Mustang GT. Um, I've had a, uh, I've got an F-150, you know, I've had a, I drove my wife's Prius. Um, the, the thing that's different about this car that I really like is that it's actually the most predictable and responsive vehicle that I think I've, that I've ever driven. Um, simply because, um, like in my, in, in my Mustang, you know, if you were slamming the gas, it's going to take off, but there's that there's that moment, a little bit of hesitation as you you know slam the gas. You know it has to gear down, and and then you know it has to decide which gear it wants to go to, and then you know finally take off. Um, this car has absolutely none of that. It's it's you have immediate response to how far you press the accelerator down. Like I know that if I press the accelerator down. I know exactly what the car is going to do at that very instant, just because the the, the response to the of the accelerator to the, to the motor is is absolutely instantaneous, um, which makes the car actually really fun to drive around, um, especially on on you know back country roads and city roads and things like that in the city. It's actually uh, very enjoyable to, to drive around in. Um, now, one of the things that, um, you know, they advertise the Leaf as having a 100-mile range, which I'll be quite honest, if you drive on, if you drive the car more than 55 miles an hour um, at any point in time, you're not going to get a 100-mile range, or you're not going to get anywhere close. Is the hundred mile now? If you drive the vehicle in um, in the city or strictly on back roads that stay under 30, 45 miles an hour, you probably get 100 miles an hour. You might even get more than 100 miles an hour. There have been reports of people getting um, 
up to 130 something miles uh, on a uh, on a charge in the city. Uh, but for me, my commute uh, to, to work is 17 miles one way, and probably about three quarters of that, well, probably half of that is is on the freeway, going 70 miles an hour. Um, Typically, if you get on the freeway at 100% charge and you go 70 miles an hour, put it on cruise with no climate control, uh, on eco mode, you're going to get about 65 miles. Um, and that's, that's a pretty big difference. And I, I found that fact out really quickly when I bought the vehicle in Atlanta and had to drive up uh, toward the Chattanooga area. Um, you know, I was figuring, oh, it's it's 78 miles from downtown Atlanta to 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 my house, I should be able to make it. And that's not the case. Uh, I had to stop at the, one of the Nissan dealerships on the way up and, and charge it. So, um, but from from what I've seen and what I've experienced so far, I get about 85 miles uh, range throughout the day. Um, but anyway, I'm uh, pulling into Walgreens here, so. Uh, I'll cut it off here, and uh, on the way back, we'll talk a little bit more and uh, go from there. So anyway, as I was saying, um, I generally get about 80, 85, 83 miles um, on a full charge, which is plenty, plenty enough for me for, to drive all the way to work. Uh, if I want to leave work for lunch and uh, you know, head, head, head out and get something to eat, come back to work and, uh, and head home, I generally have probably about 35, 30 miles left on, uh, on range when I come back. Um, but your driving style definitely will affect that. And if you're driving, you know, in off eco mode, you know, slamming the accelerator everywhere you go, going 80 miles an hour all the time or faster, um, your range is going to be pretty terrible. I mean, the car is not designed for for that kind of driving. Uh, I mean, it's fun to you know press down the accelerator and, and take off every now and then, but you know, you drive like that all the time and you, you're kind of defeating the purpose of, of, the, uh, of the vehicle. Uh, but I guess if you're driving around in the city, you know, 10, 15 miles a day, you can drive like that and be perfectly fine. Um, I don't have a 240 volt charger at my house. I'm actually just using the 120 volt trickle charger. Um, so far, that's been adequate. Um, the the closest um, I've ever come to it not being adequate is I actually came home one day and had about 20, 23 miles of charge left or of range left in the vehicle, and um, went to plug it in on the triple charger and got about um, at, at probably about seven o'clock that evening. I leave work for 8 o'clock the next morning and it was at 97% so it still wasn't fully charged uh, even after sitting there on the triple charger for close to 13 hours. They say at, a, at an empty char empty battery it takes close to 20 hours to charge it um, full, full charge at 120 volt. Uh, I, now I don't know this, it's, my, it's a theory I have, but I'm actually using a 20 amp um, plug in my garage to charge it up and it seems to charge a little bit faster than what it says it's going to like it'll it'll tell you when you plug it in it'll tell you oh it's going to take 30 minutes to charge with 480 volt an hour and a half with 240 or 13 hours with 120 I tend to run about two hours two and a half hours less uh, than that 120 volt uh, estimate there again, I don't know if it's because I'm using a 20 amp uh, outlet or or not. Most people are going to have uh, just a 15 amp outlet for the 120 volt. 
but I don't know, that's, that's what I have observed. Um, I would like to get a 240 volt outlet installed. However, I just, um, you know, it's about a thousand bucks just for the actual equipment. Uh, if you want to get it professionally done through, um, through Nissan's provider, I forget what the name of the company is, but they charge two thousand dollars to come out, rewire everything, create the two hundred and forty volt outlet, install the charger. Um, so that's that's a pretty good chunk of change. That I'm just seeing how feasible it is just to get by with the one twenty volt charger. Uh, so like I said, so far it's it's uh, it's done really well. Uh, there there are plenty of people out there on the internet and there's places that you can send your 120 volt charger you can send it off to these companies and they will actually rewire your 120 volt charger that you get with the car in order to accept a 240 volt outlet most people have a 240 volt outlet in their house either for the dryer or their stove or something like that and a lot of people will either tie into that circuit or they create have a splitter uh, and run it to their garage. Um, and I think that that service costs around three hundred and four hundred dollars to do that. However, you know you void the the warranty on your actual triple charger. Um, so if anything goes wrong with it, you're, you're kind of out of luck. And those things are not cheap at all. To order another trickle charger, it's probably around seven eight hundred dollars for a hundred twenty volt trickle charger. So, um, I have a friend of mine who actually bought a Leaf um, about a week before me. Who uh, he, he's actually doing the wiring himself to create the two hundred twenty volt, uh, two hundred forty volt uh, outlet, and he's buying the charger from I think a user on the, the Nissan Leaf forums. And go ahead and install it, and it turned, I think it cost him around seven, eight hundred dollars to do that. So I'm going to let him be the guinea pig and let him see how that works out. And if it works out okay, I might do that as well. Uh, but anyway, back to the, the just the driving of the vehicle. Um, it does have regenerative um, braking. Um, it actually has a braking mode to it, uh, kind of like if, if you're familiar with the Prius, it has a, a braking mode. Um, but a lot of times, if I know I'm going to be stopping and going, you just flip it over and, and push down, and it'll change from D to B. And all that does is when you let off the gas pedal or the accelerator pedal, it more aggressively engages the regenerative. regenerative um, uh, I guess it's not braking because you're, you're not actually really hitting the brakes, but. Uh, I guess it's using the forward momentum of the vehicle to recharge uh, the batteries. Um, that it definitely, it's almost as if you are hitting the brakes. Because um, it's pretty powerful. If you let off the gas, you, you're going you're gonna to slow down fairly quickly. Um, so it actually, if you know you're going to be stopping and going uh, a lot, then that actually helps out. And I've actually seen the, the, the battery percentage go up from using that a lot uh, so that could be helpful um, but you know overall uh, I really enjoy the vehicle um, it is, it's a lot of fun to drive uh, a lot of people I think right now are, are kind of shying away from a vehicle like this just because of, of range anxiety um, and believe me I, and I was feeling the range anxiety <laughs> when I was driving uh, the vehicle from Atlanta. I definitely had range anxiety, but ever since then, um, you know, I really haven't had any issues with, with range anxiety. There's a, there's plenty of 240 volt chargers around the city. Uh, there's even a couple of uh, superchargers, uh, 480 volt chargers around the area. Um, so if I'm out somewhere and I'm in, I'm in that area, I, you know, I'll stop in a supercharger, sit there for 10 minutes and, you know, get 50% of my charge back so but overall the I really like the vehicle it's a lot of fun to drive 
if you drive the vehicle for you know what it was designed for and you know it's within the range of the vehicle then I think it's an absolutely excellent choice you know I'm saving I'm saving over I spent two over two hundred fifty dollars a month uh, for gas in my truck and I'm paying less than that uh, for this vehicle so overall it's an excellent vehicle I love it it's nice it's quiet smooth um, and I, I think it's just a uh, it's a smart move forward uh, because I think eventually this this type of technology is is the future so anyway if uh, if you guys have any questions uh, comments just go ahead and you know put it in the comment section below and if you enjoy this video take a look at my other videos uh, you can click subscribe right here and uh, Thanks a lot for watching.